I recently started one of my longest astro projects, and it is on the Bubble Nebula in Cepheus. Tonight will be the last and final night of collecting data on this amazing target, and I will get at least 25 hours of total exposure time. I'm quite excited to see on just how good the 25 hours of data will turn out, because the 17 hours of data I've already collected is looking absolutely astonishing. The HA is super punchy, and I even found some cool HA areas around the Bubble Nebula that I didn't even know existed until I got enough integration to see it. Summer is just about coming to a complete close. The leaves are starting to lighten up and even some are already turning yellow. And the weather is starting to cool down a bit, especially during the nights. So I'm going to be doing astrophotography in a jacket once again, which I'm quite excited about. I'm always just happy with the change of seasons. The change of seasons is just so cool to me for some reason. But I do know one of the reasons why, and that is because the change of the night sky. We are finally going into the autumn targets now, like the Pleiades, the California Nebula, the Bubble Nebula, which I'm shooting tonight, and many other nebulae in the night sky around the Cassiopeia, Cepheus, and Perseus and Taurus region. So it's ready to prepare our scopes for this fall and time to get imaging because the targets are back. Of course, with the more integration you collect, the details in the background nebulosity will become more prominent. And of course, your noise will be reduced dramatically with more integration time. And that is one of the most important things about integration time, is just getting those noise levels to come down. Now, 17 hours is plenty enough for you to get a completed image, but I want more. I want to try to get a good signal to noise on those background nebulous details and just see how much of them I can get out. I don't want to go too crazy and do like 40 hours because I still want to ha shoot other targets, but I think 25 hours will be a nice sweet spot for not going too, too long to the point where I'm not able to shoot other targets, but still getting those beautiful background details. It is almost dark enough to start polar aligning now. I'm just waiting for Polaris to become visible, which I actually already see it, so I guess it's time to start polar aligning and getting focused up. So we can salute to the target and get imaging as quickly as possible. We've also seemed to have lost focus since last night. My stars have that donut hole in them. So apparently we're gonna have to salute to a bright star. Might do like Deneb or something to try to refocus. I do not have a ball set off mass, but there is a good way for focusing on Newtonians like this with that one. So you can see how the diffraction spikes are split here. So now we are just going to move the focuser and take a sub and see because the closer the diffraction spikes get to each other, the more in focus you are. So actually we went more out of focus, which means we need to actually be spinning the focuser the other way. So we're going to turn it this this way there we go so we need to keep spinning until we get it just right so you can see those spikes are starting to come together now while this one is still a little bit funky so we're going to keep testing our subs until we finally get all the diffraction spikes even and sharp all i have to do now is just re-guide calibrate because i did adjust my balance today so i'm going to just re-guide calibrate anytime you readjust your balance you typically want to guide calibrate because when the guiding during the calibration learns how much it needs to move to tweak those errors, it can depend quite heavily on your balance as well. And right here is our first sub. We are taking 10 minute subs. I was actually quite shocked at first when I learned that we can take 10 minute subs with this mount, especially paired with the six inch newt, but it seems to be going pretty well. Our guiding was going pretty decent. It has a little bit of a spike right here, so it kind of shot up a little bit in the declination. But the RA seems to be going pretty well, so everything seems to be... Last awesome. night was another successful and amazing night of astrophotography. I did not get the expected 25 hours, but I did get 20 hours, which still makes it my biggest astro project yet. 
I am super happy with this image and I hope you guys enjoy.